peace and love, family, peace and love, blessings. Um, I just want to speak on the situation one more time and I'm going to leave it alone, man. But it seems that now they're trying to have, they're, they're turning it into a battle of the sexes and turning uh, Gail to the victim as a, well, turning Gail into the victim. But deflecting from the reason why people are reacting to her in the way they are. And don't get me wrong, I'm not for people calling her bitches and all that shit. Okay, people joke on her, whatever. Carjuana man, just just cracking jokes like everybody do on the norm. That's cool. But but my issue is just they're they're making it as if as if it's men versus women, and that's not the case. So now you got black women completely just destroying men now. You got black women just going in on men defending her, regardless of what she said, regardless of the distastefulness of her asking that question. Now, she asked the question, cool, I'm not even that, okay, it, it ain't that, that big deal to me, but the way she kept trying to pressure it on is what got me. But, here's the thing, if you really if you really was just doing your job, then why apologize? You know what I'm saying? If you was doing your job like you was supposed to do, why apologize? Why even ask that question if you if if you really felt that way? But anyway, that's be that's besides the point. I just don't like how they turned it into a man versus woman thing. That's not even what it was about. It was just about her bringing back up something that wasn't even proven, something that wasn't even real, something that was fake, something that was phony. She should never brought that up in an interview. And that's and I stand by that. I'm not going to go back on my word. Anybody say they want to say they can challenge me, they can do whatever they want. I know a lot of people that I'm cool with, that I'm, that I'm relaxing with or chilling with, they saying, they saying, man, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at her for asking the question at all. Okay, I'm not really mad at her neither. That's not really the issue. It's just that she kept pushing it. Like, she she literally going to say in one sentence that she, you know what I'm saying, basically not going to talk about it. And then right in the next sentence, going to keep trying to push her to try to entice her to, to speak on Kobe in a negative way. So that's what I'm saying. But for real, y'all, I'm going to just have to say this, man. My brothers... Cut it out, though. Y'all don't have to call her a bitch. Y'all don't have to, you know what I'm saying, like, just just call her out her name that bad like that. You know what I'm saying? If you crack jokes, you crack jokes. That's that's just what we do. We like to have fun on, on special on social media. We like to have fun. We like to crack jokes. Da, 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 da. And make memes all day long. But just to call her, like, just to call her out as a bitch, like, Snoop, come on. Come on, my brother, like. I don't. I don't think you should have called her that. Like that was most definitely for the street. That one for like a whole thing. But another thing is people saying that you know, um, shifting it over, saying that you know the people that's going to get, that's going to try to get Oprah and um, Gail. Can you go uh, go get Zimmerman? Now, I agree. I agree most definitely. But I don't really. Snoop Dogg was just talking about his ass. I don't think that he gonna come get something to happen. Why, why would he do that? That's Gail. That's a woman. You know what I'm saying? Why would he just come? Like, he, Snoop Dogg is a crip. He's a game banger. Like, that, that's, that's pointless. Why would you, you know what I'm saying, just, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think when he said that, I don't even, I don't even think he meant it like that, but I'm not going to even make excuses for him. He said what he said. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that. But what I'm going to say is just that, I just feel like it could have been said, it could have been worded better. I'm not, I'm not, I don't own him or anything like that, so I can't make him. I'm not responsible. I'm not responsible for him, so I can't make him go back on that. But I just feel like he could have came at a different way, because everybody going in on her, but like everybody is just uh, focused on what Snoop Dogg said, and then they turned it into a man versus woman thing. But it says, and then out of all this. They making us like this on Black History Month. Out of everything, Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's always something, man. It's always something. But 
Anyway, y'all, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, please relax with the death threats. Please relax with the B word. Please relax with all that. And you know, I'm saying, if you gonna joke on her, joke on her, and it's be like, you know, don't don't try to ruin Kobe name. Da 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 da. But you know, call her a bitch and 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 sending death threats is just is 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 not really that ain't cool though for real. So anyway, uh, peace and love, and I'm going go ahead and get ready to go to work. So I'll holler at y'all later, man. One love to you.